Hi, I'm Tam from HowToDrawLight.com and welcome back to another video. I've made this video to especially address a question by a subscriber, DJ Stevens. DJ Stevens wanted to know if it would be possible for me to show how I went about shading the different types of fur in the dog drawing and what types of stroke I used. So I've tried to demonstrate this as best I can in this video and also in a part 2 video uh, which will be coming shortly. This video part 1 takes a look at how to shade short fur. I've also sped some bits of the video up to make it a bit quicker for you to watch. If you're looking for a more detailed guide on how to draw the dog, please check out my other series How to Draw a Photorealistic Dog Parts 1-5. to five. Start off by putting a basic layer of shading where you know the darker patches of the fur are going to be and leave the uh, patches that you know will be lighter unshaded. Next, take the colour artist pencil relevant to the shade of fur that you're trying to create and place small dashes in the direction of the fur grain that you're shading. Uh, I've made these a little bit larger and a little bit rougher than what I actually used in the dog drawing but it's just so you can see them a bit clearer. Make sure they're evenly spaced but not directly one above the other uh, to give it a more authentic look. Then blend in another shade relevant to the fur, so I'm using grey here and it's following exactly the same process of just putting these small little dashes in slightly randomised but obviously in line with each other Once you've built up your first layer like this, take something like a graphite pencil and then apply a very very light layer of shade over the top of this small layer of dashes. And what this does is it just kind of helps to start to block out some of the gaps where the paper is showing through underneath. You don't need to press too hard, it's just a gentle uh, thin layer. Where relevant, introduce a third colour. So as the uh, fur in the dog drawing that I'm basing this tutorial on uh, blended from black into a bit of a light grey and then went to kind of white in places, I'm now bringing in white and it's exactly the same process, just very small dashes. As you can see, I'm not building up an entire row of them. I've started off with a kind of a splodge of them in the middle and I'm just working a, a few dashes outwards uh, towards the sort of the grey black area. Next, it's a case of following exactly the same process again. So what you want to do is just then build up the layers uh, by repeating. So you want to put a little bit of uh, graphite over the top of the white because that takes such a bright edge off of it. And then build up on the colours you've used. And what this will do is it will slowly but surely fill more and more of those little paper gaps where the paper is showing through and it will create a denser look to the fur and it will obviously build on tone. Now I will point out my black pencil wasn't quite sharp enough really to do this with uh, but it's a bit of a stump <laughs> so I didn't really want to risk sharpening it too much and be left with no pencil to demonstrate the video with uh, so in an ideal world make sure your pencils are as sharp as they can be like the grey and the uh, the white are in this.
hopefully by the time you finished your fur will look something like this I and mean, you can go on and you can build the layers up a little bit more again uh, I stopped here because hopefully you've got the idea what to do by now don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so you don't miss part 2 and other videos I bring out if you have any questions feel free to ask either through twitter by searching for at how to draw like or through the contact page on my website www.howtodrawlike.com thanks for watching bye for now